I have another car review for you guys. I have my boy Subaru behind me. It's a 2016 WRX STI Limited Hyper Blue Edition. Only came out in 2016. So today, I'm going to give you guys a little peek of the car. Uh, show you outside, show you inside. Um, and yeah, so as you guys first noticed, the color of this car is very, very beautiful. The reason why is actually it was a limited edition as they before only came in 2016. There were only 700 of these made. This is number one. Not play, I really don't know what number it is, but it was only 700 made in the STI mode. So let's talk, uh, let's take a look on the front and start there, okay? So if you guys notice, it's not too much differences um, that he did in the front. Um, he added this bottle look down here at the bottom. And if you guys can see down here, which I'll show you later, he added an LED light bar, okay? So at the top, you have a functional vent because it is a top mount intercooler. It's not like these other companies that just has a fake one. This is actually functional, so good job of Subaru for doing that. You see with this one, they kind of added some other accents compared to the regular SCI with this Hyper Blue series. So you have a little bit of what's like a carbon fiber like it's not really the look but the kind of the carbon fiber pattern we have these vents not sure if these vents are functional or not um they are on 18 inch wheels i think they're 18 by eight and a half and then you do have these black accented mirrors and with a car that has dark tint it looks lovely on it all right it kind of definitely breaks it up a lot uh, my boy he also added the wind deflectors i think it gives a good look um not really sure if anyone really still use this, but it looks good on this. And Subaru actually has heated mirrors on this one, so that's actually really cool as well too. So if you guys want to follow me to the back. Don't you guys just love this wing? So, I was, it was crazy when I found out that you could get an STI without the wing, and I was like, what's the point? Like, that's what makes it stand out. So, of course, it's all wheel drive. And some other things that he changed, he added these tail lights. I think they look really good, especially with the black housing, kind of mix up that blue and black and red trimming that you see around the car. And this actually has a sequential um, turn signal, which I'll show you guys that as well too. I think it looks really good, it's nice touch to the car. And down here, this was just a black panel and he kind of changed out with a red reflector. Didn't really notice, but um, I kind of like it. It adds a little touch, especially with the little splashes of red here and the tail lights, and even around his little license plate that he got here. So I think that's pretty cool. I will start the car for you guys and let you know how this exhaust sounds, okay? All right, and as I said before, I can put this LED light bar in here, and it may be hard to see on the camera right now, but it's actually really bright still in the daytime, so imagine what that really looks like at nighttime. All right, so now, Let's see what's under the hood. Technical difficulties. One moment. <laughs> Alright, y'all, I was just playing. Found it. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys take a look under the hood, have top mount intercooler. This is the 2.5 liter engine uh, turbo. So basically, the numbers that this puts out is about 305 in the horsepower area, 290 in the torque. Um, the gas mileage, who cares about the gas mileage for the sports car? But for guys, you guys that's really wondering, it's 17 in the city on this model and 23 on the highway. And the car is roughly right under 3,400 pounds. So it's really not a bad power to weight ratio. Um, it's definitely still in line with, you know, your Type R's, your Golf R's and everything like that. Um, Focus RS. So pretty good there Subaru would be good there and they of course you guys are familiar with the Barca engine if they have this going on for years some people say that it's time for rebrand but I guess if it works it works you know why kind of kill something reinvent something new that you don't have to so that's under the hood guys I'm gonna take you on the inside of the car and we'll check it out right so this is the inside of the car Subaru has put the leather slash suede combination what I really like about this is that it has this blue stitching that you see all throughout the car, on the seats, um, even the stitching over here on the door panel. I think that looks really well because you know that this is still the limited edition and the stitching matched up perfectly with the color of the deck on the outside of the car. Okay guys, sorry about that, we're really into 
disrupted by some people who want to be on the train. So on the inside, we have this sound, upgraded sound system by Harman Kardon. Harman Kardon is one of the best sounding systems you get a car stock. All right, so good job of Subaru on that. Now, I kind of do like that they have these little carbon fiber accents. I think it gives the car a real sporty look on the inside. So good job with that. You can have it here around the gearbox. As you see, it has the six speed. So there's a couple little different things going on in here. Um, I'm gonna start the car for you guys so you kind of see it, right? All right, so before I show you guys the different um, displays and everything like that, I do wanna say these seats are actually really comfortable. Um, they're sports style, but they actually do hold you in place pretty good. So um, definitely kudos to Subaru for that. And they're actually, they feel nice. Like the material actually feels like, it doesn't feel cheap. So good job to that. So let's start here with this display. Here you have your virtual boost gauge and also it shows your AC um, temperature and everything like that. I love stock cars that have a virtual boost gauge. I think that's like the coolest thing ever. So you don't have to kind of like rip apart the car doing your own wiring, you know. You don't have to put an aftermarket one in there. So that's kind of cool. Here we have the radio. Um, for 2016, this is kind of, you know, standard which you'll see across the market. So, touchscreen has good reaction. Have maps. Have your apps: Starlink, Neuralink, Pandora. So it doesn't have the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay that you see in a lot of newer cars. But like I said, it is really starting putting that in a car. So you really wouldn't expect to see that here. And then over here, I kind of do like the black gauges with the red lighting. Um, I think that makes any car look sporty. And it also shows your average MPG up here as well too. And also, if you guys look down here, you have your driving control. So you can put it in sport mode. And even on the dash right here, it shows you your torque curve. So I think right now we're in sport sharp. Um, that is sport. And then, I don't know why it doesn't wanna go in normal driving mode. I mean, who needs normal driver when you have a car like this? Anyway, right? You're trying to go fast. No one's trying to go eco. All right, and then this ha does have heated seats up front, and your buttons are located here. I think that's kind of cool because you don't really see cars with a combination like that, and especially sports cars that have heated seats on these type of seats. So I think that was good. Added a little bit of luxury to the car. Now, you see, this car does not have a sunroof, but it's okay because that's just weight reduction, guys, right? Like I said, we're trying to go fast. So that's pretty much it for up front as far as what you guys would want to see sports ladies in the car. Um, it does have the flat bottom steering wheel, which is kind of cool. And it changes the material here where you grip it. Um, it does allow you for a nice grip. And it I don't think it really get um, kind of pick up the sweat off your hands. So that's kind of cool there as well too. You have your Bluetooth control here on the steering wheel, cruise control, who really uses that. All right, guys, so basically we're going to take it on a little drive. Same thing I did with the Corolla. Um, right now we have it in sport mode, which is the middle tier of the driving modes. That's usually what he has it in. So we're just going to do a normal driving on that. And I'm going to see if I can do a hit for you guys as well, too. So um, the cool thing about this car in uh, sport mode, it does stiffen suspension a little bit, tightens the steering. And I'm assuming that when you put it into sport plus or whatever it's called, um, it will do that a little more. Um, I guess that's kind of more of your racing slash aggressive driving mode. So in sport mode, good like i said the suspension is stiff but it still rides comfortably so you can still go over bumps without feeling it in your back <laughs> so i think subaru did a good job of doing that as well too um like i said gas mileage um you probably average around like 2021 20, um city and highway combined but when you buy a car like this you're really not looking at the gas number so um yeah, so you guys stay tuned. If we do have an opportunity to do a hit, I'll definitely share that with you guys. 
I'm gonna put put the car in Sport Sharp is what they call it. Sport Sharp, okay, not Sport Plus. Um, I see. I don't know if you guys see the Turk Core. I can't speak. Torque curve. That's it in sport, and then that's it in sport sharp. So you get to your power a lot faster in this driving mode. All right. So all these people in front of me drive a little faster. I'm gonna back off and probably maybe do like a second gear pull or something. Just see how the car goes. take a little longer to build a boost but it's still not bad um thought it was gonna be a little more impressive but it's not terrible okay guys so i have the car in sports sharp i actually found a pretty decent road for us to do a hit real quick so i'm doing from standstill uh you guys let me know what you think suggestions recommendations drop it below in the description i'm also going to post his social media there too so go ahead up there he would greatly appreciate that and so would i as well but i just want to thank you guys again for tuning in to my channel i really appreciate it like i said this is a journey you know you guys will be at the very beginning so thank you for that again but remember to like comment subscribe share your boat with your friends all right we're trying to make it to the top okay but before i leave i just want to say guys please 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 be safe with everything going on in the world as well as you guys know i love you i appreciate you Thank you once again.